Does the red pill have hope? We've already seen the fall of so many red pill YouTubers, some who started off very, very prominently, but over time got exposed or just quit altogether. And today I'm going to be talking about two red pill YouTubers, one who I believe is everything good about the red pill and the other who I think is everything that is wrong with the red pill. My name is Giganate. Let's jump right into it. Handsome like Mr. Clean, flaming like some kerosene, fresher than some Listerine, looking like a stream. Now, judging from the title, you already know about the two YouTubers that I'm going to be speaking of. Hamza, in my opinion, is the only red pill YouTuber that young men need to watch. I 100% agree that the red pill has been taken over by gurus and people just trying to make a quick buck. Hamza, in my opinion, is one of the only red pill YouTubers that should be watched. And here's a couple of the reasons I believe that. Number one, his advice can apply to all young men and not just the top 1% of men, which is what the majority of red pill channels talk about. Number two, he focuses on self-improvement through mental and physical health and not just the gaining of material items. Number three, he does practice what he preaches and he does believe that this movement will help young men. And number four, you can genuinely tell that he wants everyone in his audience to succeed. Now on the other hand, you have Sneeko. Now, do not worry, I'm not gonna use what every other blue pillar talks about and just say he's a sexist or he's a misogynist, that he's preaching toxic masculinity. But there are several reasons why I believe he is everything wrong with the red pill. And several of these reasons include, one, he sees the red pill as a means to an end. Sneeko has always said he's trying to go viral, and as of right now, I do genuinely believe that the red pill is just another way for him to gain subscribers. Number two, he's more obsessed with hustle culture than he is actually in self-improvement. Number three, getting views and money is more important than actually helping and changing young men. He only sees it as a byproduct to his streams. He only has basic knowledge of the red pill only basic talking points. If you really want to see what I mean, just check out his Destiny debate, where every time he has an answer when Destiny asks something, when he has to give a general explanation for why he believes in it, he can't come up with it, or he stutters, or he just repeats the same thing over and over again, and then adds at the end, I know that triggers you. Sneeko is what happens when you watch too many fresh and fit clips and just make it your personality. Hamza is what happens when you take self-improvement seriously and aren't just paying a $500 guru to help fix your life. If you just think that the red pill is going to solve all your problems and that by knowing some of the things in the red pill that makes you better than everyone else, you're going to become lost again and you're just going to see yourself farther away from the people who once supported you. Sneeko, apart from the red pill, has pretty much burned every single bridge he's had. And even in the red pill that do support him, he's feuded with at some point in the past. The red pill should be seen as another tool in your toolbox and not just something that is instantly going to change your life overnight. And the reason I genuinely think that Hamza's content is better than someone like Sneeko's is because you can tell it's not just something to sell to men. With Sneeko, money abuses the objective and helping men is the byproduct. For Hamza, helping men become better is the main goal and making money is the byproduct. 95% of the red pill is just people trying to teach you how to become a ripoff Andrew Tate. However, I do still believe that there is some hope because there is 5% of the red pill that is genuinely trying to help young men for the better. And not just teach young men how to become better men, but how to become better people in general. And I don't want to speak about the red pill as if I have this Morpheus knowledge minus the bald head, and that I'm magically going to impart that on you and your life is suddenly going to seem so much different. But there are things that the red pill gets right that other people are too afraid to ignore because it makes them feel uncomfortable. So instead they pretend that it's some type of oppression. And while the 5% sees this as a reason to become smarter, wiser, stronger, and more capable men, the other 95% just wants to scream about feminists and just wreck people for views, which in and of itself can be funny to watch, but is not something that you should be consuming for general knowledge. Because what this 95% of red pillars is not realizing is that they are becoming the very feminists that they wreck online. Stop taking the red pill literally and pretending as if you've woken up. Treat the red pill as if you are a sheep. Society is the shepherd and he's telling you to go one way. And you can do what all red pillars do, or the majority of red pillars do, and just go right, or you can choose your own path. Stay safe and stay smart. Peace. Handsome like Mr. Clean, flaming like some kerosene, fresher than some Listerine, looking like a string.